Good afternoon. We are so happy that you are here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. We have gotten a lot done today already. Right, Peter? Yeah, we did because... We realized we had a lot of like paperworky things that we had to do for our cruise. Well, I went back to work today. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of work done there. Because mm -hmm. um, I'm the only person in my leadership team that's there. Mm -hmm. One, a lot of clerical stuff. But two, I couldn't sleep last night and had a realization epiphany about our COVID situation in our upcoming cruise. It kind of feels a little silly like thinking about our cruise while we have COVID, but... But we need to or else we yeah. wouldn't have had this important realization that is James has to take a PCR test prior to the cruise because he's unvaccinated. Right. Disclaimer about a small portion of COVID positive people is they can test positive on a PCR test for up to 90 days. So even if he is fully recovered, which he will be by that time of the cruise, he could still show positive on a PCR. So we're just so figuring we're like, all what? that out. Like, what are we going to do and all that? But the travel industry and the CDC have a special process you have to go through called the, the 90 day recovery um, process of where we have to get certain documentation from his pediatrician and other well, doctors. Well, this is quite the intro. We'll talk about it more as we like get stuff done because we have a plan. This is clearly not intro talk. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get a Pepsi because that is intro talk. Are you feeling better today? I mean, you don't have COVID, but you do get a checkup after your procedure this week. Here's ice cream cone. You like Encanto? Are you feeling better today? You're the best next week. Jamie slept through the night, which hasn't been happening lately. I woke up in a panic this morning. <laughs> he does not want to be bothered. But yeah. Yeah. But he does have really cute curls. Oh my God, we know how to yes. Well, this beautiful tree that didn't actually give us a whole lot of fragrance, and but dropped almost no needles. And was exhaustivating for the dog. It's uh, it's coming down today. <gasps> yep, that's it. You heard it first. Two days after Christmas. Two days after Christmas, the Burkharts are destroying their Christmas tree. But it's for a good reason. It's because we literally have to start getting her to leave. We were supposed to leave Saturday for two weeks. So like, we have to get ourselves ready for not only Run Disney for Dopey. I am not prepared for that, <laughs> but it's going to be a fun time anyway. Um, we're rolling with the punches of the last couple weeks, um, and we have to get ready for a cruise immediately after, and then Art of Festival of the Arts immediately after that, so um, Christmas has got to go. We have to start taking it down now because this live tree cannot stay here two weeks unwatered while we're gone. You love your mom? Yesterday I talked about us canceling our anatomy scan and then I remembered it's the 21st century and I could book a private ultrasound. So I booked one while we're in Florida and it's not like for measurements. Thank you for pausing in condo. Um, one, so that we don't miss out on it and two, so that we don't get copyright claims. Um, but it's not like a full like measurement and all of that stuff but we'll like get good pictures um we're gonna find out the sex of our baby um and yeah i think there's video and i think there's 3d stuff um where we're going so that happened today we did it we did it we did it boom 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 good job jamesy get him so delicate not sure what to do now. Yay! Yay! Woo! Andiamo! 
All right. So we got Colleen Ballinger's family's Christmas. Fitting since I am destroying Christmas. It has also taken me approximately three hours to go to this length. But I think that's the whole point of like when you have kids. Things take like five times as long sometimes because you know like I want to stop and play with them and then I guess I've been feed them and then mm. did you tell the vlog James how we had to take a photo of you for security purposes for the, the cruise and it was the funniest thing ever here's a bunch of the attempted photos um, and I'm finally gonna unplug the tree for the last time because the last segment and I'm sick of walking around it so I'm just gonna stand in one spot and spin the tree in the stand as I unattach the lights from the tree but the annoying part is like Sarah's mom tell me you need to pin every single light bulb to the tree which is great it's beautiful throughout the whole season but it makes it so long to take the lights off because then you have to re to detach every single one James it's pure chaos on this in this joint is this vlog ever gonna leave the living room Goodbye, tree. You were great. You were a, you were a tallest tree of all ever. Just had some bald patches, but so does my chin. <laughs> okay, now let's watch you struggle as you bring. <laughs> Put away Christmas. We said it would be helpful. We said got to do it before the cruise. We said. In reality, I'm just being dramatic because this is the uh, the havoc before the calm of putting it all away. But like, here's all the fragile, fragile boxes, fragile boxes, fragile box locations. Creepy doll. <laughs> Creepy. One hour later. All right. See, the chaos has been tamed. Well, I mean, not this chaos. You cannot. Tame this chaos. Cut that luggage out because we're gonna need it. Now I think about it, I probably should have put that wrapping paper in the closet as well. But we're like 85, I'd say we're like 90 plus percent put away with Christmas now. Gotta do some dishes and still put those away and do some laundry for rags and blankets and whatnot. But Christmas is put away because we're about to go on a cruise, baby. You gonna wrap some presents? That's nice, right? It's pretty. It's colorful. Yeah. All right, so James was a little stubborn mule, but is that fitting for to be our son? Because we're both pretty stubborn. Um, we are keeping the white lights up because they're very wintry. Yeah, they're winter. And we love that vibe as well as the garland because it's not a Christmas garland; it's a winter garland. And you know, in Chicago, it may snow as late as April. Um, or me. <laughs> or me. But Eve is enjoying the window still. We've, we did a lot more putting away than we expected. That is our COVID snot toilet paper for our nose. <laughs> <laughs> those books need to go up there. Those, yeah, those need to go up there. But I was putting away stuff in the closets while Sarah can't lift those because um, there was just a lot with James and COVID and pregnant and cooking a baby. Yeah, I just, I could do it if you were like there. So I didn't have to. Handing them to you? Yeah. <laughs> We're doing what I feel like sometimes people, let me know, do you guys ever just ponder about the life you don't see on the vlog? Because, like, we love currently Hannah, and she posted a video today of things are changing with, like, hey, pending updates coming about her life. And we're just sitting here like, well, we know she, her boyfriend was on her Instagram recently, and she just moved out, and what could it be? Yeah, so that's it. We watch YouTubers, too. Yeah. You, you, your favorite... Your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. Do you guys know who whose quote that is? We'll tell you in, in tomorrow's vlog. But put a comment down below if you know whose quote that is. It's very dark. I promise, like, I'll do more with my hair. You don't need to promise nothing. It's just wild all the time. <laughs> um, I want to sign off, but I think we didn't explain the COVID scenario with James. With the cruise, did we? Um, I don't think fully. So... Very quickly. Yes. Sarah and I are vaccinated. I'm going to turn the brightness up just a little. There you go. There you go. So Sarah and I are vaccinated. So Disney Cruise Lines and the CDC's travel cruise guidelines mean that 
we just have to do a rapid test at the port prior to us yes. getting on the, the boat. And which, we'll be long negative yes. before we get on the boat. But James, I think it's also called a ship. <laughs> yes. James, not being vaccinated because he's not allowed to get vaccinated yet, has to do a PCR test. A couple of days Three days out. prior. Mm -hmm. Within three days prior. That's negative. In addition to a rapid test at the port. The worry part about that is that because he's recently COVID positive, you can be PCR positive for 90 days. So the CDC and cruise industry actually has a special thing where it's like if you are a recovered COVID patient within 90 days, if you show us your positive test that is between 90 and 11 days prior to cruise sale date, as well as a physician's letter that says you are mm -hmm. fully recovered, you don't have to do the test because James could James PCR in could two weeks positive. from now could be positive even if he's not infectious or anything. Yeah. Because that's just how the PCR molecular tests work. Realized that last night when I couldn't sleep. So today was like, we need to call his pediatrician. We need to find a test. So tomorrow... Yeah. We're all going to go get tested. And get PCR tested. Because we just um, rapid tested before. Yeah, and we want to make sure to, like, the CDC today change the guidelines for... Quarantine. Quarantine. We still have symptoms. We're definitely feeling better. We're still going to be very careful going up to our trip because we don't want anything to change those plans. Like, we yeah. want to just be, like, safe. Follow all like, the guidelines. And yeah, like, extremely just, like, there be no more bumps in the road because there's been a lot. And I don't really think I'll believe we're going on this cruise until we step It hit me a little bit more today. I was, I was YouTubing some things. I was Googling some things. I was talking to my friend Steve from Tampa. <laughs> Um, about the cruise, so it hit me a little bit more today than it ever has that we're doing yeah. it. So but this is like our last hurdle is to make sure that James's documentation that nothing is good. right. So my thought was like, if we negative test PCR, that's actually hopefully that means that he, then he wouldn't negative P or I'm sorry that he, he wouldn't would. positive yeah. PCR in the future. That we would just be like done. But in order for us to do this like 90 day recovery thing, yeah. he needs a positive PCR, which we only have at home, yes. like rapid tests. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. And I, also, it's, it's a small, it's a small percentage really quick that have like the long lasting PCR positive. They, like the science like doesn't it's know. Likely. It's the, the, what the numbers I saw there, like a few studies in the Europe and U S have shown that like up to 12% of people will PCR test positive for two to three months. Right. So it's a... It's, I don't think... Right. It's just we want to make sure that... We, that yeah, we don't want to be in Orlando and 48 hours before our cruise find out... Like our last that, cruise ...that James tested PCR ahead. positive and that we didn't take the proper precautions. Yeah. So we're going to do everything we can. Yeah. A lot of other things we're going to have to do in Florida. Yeah. For the cruise. Clothes shopping. Like clothes shopping. <laughs> um... Like get my nails done. Oh gosh, I, I think I'm gonna get a haircut again. At I think Evie's gonna get a haircut while yes. we're there. Yes. Um, so a lot of our like prep is gonna actually happen in Florida. Which isn't that many days because we'll get there Sunday, and the running events start Thursday. Yeah. Which really they start Friday because Friday, Saturday, Sunday we've got like evening events in addition to the runs. Yeah. It's hard because, like, we want to enjoy our time at Disney as well. But it's but still the, pseudo the vacation, home. the vacation, like, part of this trip truly is the cruise. Yeah. So we have, for sure, one full Disney day that, like, we're planning. Mm -hmm. That'll be, like, what I'm, like, looking forward to. But we're, we're going to be back later, like, later Within this. Weeks. Yeah, we'll be back soon as like our last big hurrah before yeah, the we baby, don't have our big hurrah, which we booked. haven't really shared yeah. much about yet. But there will be another trip before the baby, like breaks. a long trip, like our January trip. Yeah, like our January trip. Like, Not, it was like, like August, Ju September. Yeah, yeah August, September. That we trip. did last, last. I keep saying last year because but summer feels that year. long ago. Yeah, but that was just a few months ago. Wild year. Yes. All right. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.